I left out a few from the different perspective show. Didn't want to miss them. This one meeting tonight. Straightforward. <laughs> Stuffed. Oreo cookie. Price on request. And across the way is the other part of the cookie. So that means that any, everything in between is the stuffing. So what's in between? We're in between. So we're the stuffing, okay. Now the next part of the artist market show, oh there's a Mark Chatterley, I like that. And here's the jewelry, artist jewelry. Always buy art jewelry, it's the best. Is there's in the Elements Gallery, show by Susan Aaron Taylor. And this is a part of her Dreamscape series. Pug and Frog. Wood, handmade felt, and a fossil. Oh. Ms. Aaron Taylor is a professor at the College for Creative Studies. Materials that she uses. Um, for a long time, she's used that um, sculpey to create the faces and arms and legs of a lot of her sculptures. That's a great face. Breath. You know, at first I thought that was a hat. It's just indicative of how we deal with familiar silhouettes or shapes and we jump to conclusions. This is called breath. There's a rock. It's in there. That's a really great subject matter. I'm surprised more people haven't dealt with the um, indigenous dog creatures that uh, run in packs around the city, even more so. The painter Ed Levine did a series of those a number of years ago. Been that great face. Masked. sculpture out of anything. Dog and child. One of that's a Petoskey stone. <coughs> kind of a narrative about trust. Felt cozo fiber. Uh, 
and even the way I said rat. What does that make you think? Yeah, I don't like rats. Rats have um, don't have a very good press agent, do they? You think a rat in that drop down file starts off with bubonic plague, fleas, middle ages, all from a one three letter word. But when you see it in a different context, you have to start thinking differently. The Elements Gallery is a great space, little space. You can see all of the work very intimately. It's a nice place to have a one-person show. And it's in the midst of the main show from a different perspective at the Detroit Artist Market.